guys, it's Dawn and I am back as promised for another look at some of our new product coming out on August 5th. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really fun watercolor galaxy background and what better stamp set to pair that with than our new Lucky Star stamp set. Now this will be available on August 5th like I said and it is full of those tongue in cheek sentiments. I personally have lots of girlfriends that I could give these cards to. Things like um, I think my Lucky Star is that you're my friend. Seriously, I'd hate to be on your bad side. Yes, I have quite a few friends that I could send that card to. Um, isn't it the truth? Your most passionate, your best friends are usually the ones that you don't want to be on their bad side either because when they're passionate in a good way, they're usually passionate in a bad way too. So anyways, let's get on to how to do this card. Now you can see here that I am just wetting this cardstock with clear, clean water. You want to get this nice and wet just like any background wash you do. Now normally I would tape this down, but I wasn't sh quite sure how I was going to use this, so I didn't tape it. Um, I didn't know if I was going to be using the full card or not. So I didn't tape it, but if you have problems with it warping, the water is soaking into the paper and it's causing it to warp, um, tape it down. So I've allowed the water to soak into the paper and I actually wet this once, let the water soak in and then wet it a second time. And that's because I wanted the water to actually absorb into the paper and I wanted the paper itself to be wet instead of the water just sitting on top of the paper. Now that's going to keep this pigment vibrant, but still allow it to blend and move. Um, normally when the paper is really wet on the top and you add the pigment, you know, you notice that it kind of spreads out really quickly and it um, gets very light very quickly. This will still allow that pigment to remain more vibrant but it'll still move itself around. Now this is very similar to the wash that we that I showed you yesterday um, except for we're adding more color and we're being a little more chaotic about it. We're going to add blues and purples and yellows and reds and then um, our base color the one we're adding the most of is that Payne's Gray and what that's going to do is that Payne's Gray is going to mix with all of those vibrant colors and it's going to shade and tone them down but you're still going to have that mix of color. It would be quite boring if you just did this all in gray. Um, I don't know if you look at gray, any black color, it's never really truly black. You can see shades of brown in it. You can see shades of red in it. Um, it's never just this flat black color. And that's just going to keep this much more interesting. So you can see here that I'm, I'm layering in the color. The paper is still wet, so these are all still going to blend together. But I'm, I'm intensifying some areas and I'm allowing some areas to be much lighter. Now this is going to look like a mess at first. It's going to look crazy, but um, trust me, it's all going to work out in the end. Now I'm going to just start flicking some of that color on and you'll see here that I'll pick up some of that blue and I'll start flicking it on and I'll do the same thing with some of the other colors and that's just because I really want this chaotic um, background. If your background starts to get too flat or muddy, you can use a dry paper towel to just pounce it lightly on top and pull up some areas of color. And again, you can intensify anywhere that you think you need to add more color. There really is no right or wrong way to do this and every time you do it, it will come out different, which is why I love this so much. So now I want to pull out like a moon and to do that, I'm just going to take a thirsty brush. So I've taken a wet brush, I've squeezed it off on a paper towel and I'm just uh, swirling it around in a circle to lift some paint in a uh, circular motion. And what this will do is it'll keep the edges of that nice and soft and hazy and it almost looks like a little moon there glowing in the back. And I'm going to add another one, just a little one. Maybe this one is just a really big bright star. Maybe it's a little planet off further away. So now that this has started to dry, I'm going to take some uh, China white paint or some Gouch white paint and start flicking that onto it. I'm going to speed up the drying just a little bit and use my heat tool here so that I can add another layer of that white so that I can get some extremely bright stars. Now there are several different ways to achieve this galaxy look, several different mediums that you could use. In fact, Christina Werner has a really good one using Distress Paints over on her blog. So if you like this look, that's definitely something that you should check out. So once we're all done with this, we can set it aside to dry and then we can do our stamping. And the Lucky Star stamp set is going to be perfect for this galaxy background. I'll be using the I Thank My Lucky Stars That You're My Friend sentiment. We're going to be embossing this, so I'm going to use an anti-static bag here really quick and rub it over the back so that I don't get any uh, bossy powder stuck anywhere that I don't want it. And then we're going to stamp this in Versamark, and then I'm going to emboss it using Wow Bright White Embossing Powder. 
And then after that's embossed, I'm just going to hit the back really quick. I like to do this especially when I emboss with watercolor paper. It seems to reduce the amount of warping that I get. So there are a couple fun little images included in the set and we're going to add some of those to this card as well. We're going to use this little shooting star and we're going to emboss that and then we're going to add some uh, little filler stars around just to balance it out. And you can't very well have a galaxy without a little twinkle or sparkle. So I'm using a clear Wink Stella pen to just add a little bit of twinkle to the background. You can see here I'm just uh, laying it down and then rubbing it with my finger. Nothing precise. So I've trimmed that panel down to three and three quarters inches by five and a quarter inches tall and we're going to be mounting that to a four by five and a half inch card base. So it'll be about an eighth of an inch showing all around and I'm just using that same wink of Stella pen to add some glitter along the edges that will be showing. So there's another way to use that simple background wash. I absolutely love this technique. Um, I never get bored with it because it never turns out the same. I could try to duplicate it a million times and it would never ever be the same twice. So I really hope you enjoyed today's card. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about our new stamp sets that are releasing on August 5th, be sure to stop by our blog at stampawaywithme.blogspot.com. Remember, you can find all the featured W plus 9 supplies at wplus9.com. Again, you can find us on our blog along with a full supply list and more information at stampawaywithme.blogspot.com. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.